Um, he come, he come, yeah. it's fine, let's start with the demo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we do chess, and if you want to play chess, the first thing is you need to know the state of the board. So we're using the real sense camera on top. We tried different perspectives, it's actually really hard to get a perspective on a chess board where you can see everything and nothing is blocked. So we're going on top, and you can see we are cropping out all the pieces of every field, and then we are sending queries to your land. And we're only detecting is the field empty, is it white or is it black, right? And um, that's the kind of thing we're detecting with the VLN. And then in parallel, we try the classical approach, which we're not using. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, like in the real world application, you wouldn't use a VLM, like these stuff are not uh, as consistent as you would wish them to be. So, we tried another approach, we haven't deployed it. Uh, but uh, with edge detection, you can figure out if one piece, uh, one block set up set block is empty or not using edges if it's touching the edge or the edge of the image and so on and uh, using image segmentation you can segment the piece out and figure out if it's black and white and actually that's all we need for our algorithm to work uh, because we just need to keep track of the state and the next step is to uh, figure out if the move is illegal the, legal, the move from the user and also what the move from the robot should be and that where the chess engine comes from comes in and the people represent that. that yeah so we're basically using stockfish and after we have whether it's black or white um, or empty we can deduce with perfect determinacy whether uh, what what the movement was um, by assuming that we always um, uh, promote to agree this is the only thing that we have to assume for this algorithm to work and then um, the robot can do its move after uh, like the engine suggests the move and the, the, the robot can start doing it. And now it's time for your favorite part and the core of this hackathon, which was the imitation learning. So we train the end two models, one for picking and one for dropping. We first tried to train only one model, but it didn't work so reliably. And it's a weekend, guys, so we didn't have so much time. So, like three hours ago, um, our train finished and uh, we tested the following model that you'll see. So, uh, I'll note a few things. This is the only pre programmed movement that you'll see. And you'll see a bit of delay, and this proves that it's real. Um, because it takes a bit of time to load. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> you can check for time, I'll see if it might go there. You won't find any. Alright, and because this is the real world, and uh, it might fail, but we can quickly retry and from our experience... You, uh, you should take the soft chess. The second time should work, and if not, just take our word for it. It's worth it. We trust you. Also when Chris played... It worked. Yeah, right. It worked. <laughs> Chris can vouch that it's it worked. Work. Um, yeah, loading the model, now it's running, hopefully it works this time. Ah, yeah. Yeah. And, now, and now you see a bit more delay because it's going to the second model that we trained. Um, in about 10 seconds it's going to hopefully drop the piece. And this part is usually more reliable than the first one, so let's see. Come on, robot. <laughs> Come on, stop optimizing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, fantastic. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys.